nowadays it is getting difficult for farmers to monitor the field continuously. And also due to migration of people from rural to urban area there is hindrance in agriculture. And also there are many difficulties in manual irrigation such as wastage of water. We all know that water is very precious in our lives, so to overcome these issues I go for IoT-based smart irrigation and environmental monitoring system. Using this system the values of soil moisture, humidity and temperature can be monitored continuously without going onto the field. Also there is no shortage of water because of automatic irrigation. IoT is widely used in connecting devices and collecting data information. The hardware consists of sensors, microcontroller relay and valve. Soil moisture sensor and temperature and humidity sensor are used here. ESP8266 is used as microcontroller. It is Wi-Fi enabled. The data is collected from sensors can be sent to the internet easily. For irrigation purpose we are using a 12 volt solenoid valve. The soil moisture sensor is dipped into the soil whose moisture is to be measured. Data from soil moisture sensor is measured by ADC pin of node MCU. Data from DHT11 temperature sensor is measured by node MCU. From node MCU a signal will be passed to relay module. Relay access electromechanical switch so it will turn on the solenoid valve on. Node.js is a JavaScript environment used for writing the backend code. The node MCU which collects the data from soil moisture sensor and DHT11 sensor sends to the website when node MCU is connected to the internet. The data is sent to website through HTTP protocol. MongoDB is used for storing data. This website is hosted in Heroku platform using Node.js code. This is the apparatus of the project. The tube of the water tank is connected to the inlet of the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is connected to the relay module. The relay module is connected to Node MCU. The soil moisture sensor and temperature and humidity sensor is connected to Node MCU. The outlet tube of the solenoid valve is placed on the farm. By doing the program in Arduino IDE, when the value of soil moisture sensor goes less than the preset threshold value, the valve will be turned on automatically. So we can maintain the required moisture in the soil. For seeing real and historical data we can access the website that is hosted in Heroku. This is the website that is created. From this website we can clearly understand the values of soil moisture, temperature and humidity. From the graph we can understand the variations in the values of soil moisture, temperature and humidity. There will be only a slight variation in the values of temperature and humidity. The value of temperature and humidity will be a constant. Now the soil moisture is dipped into to a dry soil so the value of soil moisture is zero. The threshold value is taken as 500. When the circuit is connected to power supply the valve will be turned on automatically because the threshold value is zero. The flow of the water through the tube will be stopped only if the preset value goes more than 500. By implementing this project farmers can monitor the condition of their field remotely without going to the field. Also automatic irrigation can be done. There is no wastage of water. This system can be easily implemented in the field.